We are a matter of days away from the June event from Apple WWDC 2024. And what I'm going to reveal today is going to change everything that we know about this event. So that's right guys, we got some last minute news about WWDC 2024 with all those new AI features that are coming. And the first one is the announcement of the brand new name, what's going to change everything with artificial intelligence from Apple. And it looks like the artificial intelligence or AI from Apple is going to be actually known as Apple Intelligence. The great news is all of these new AI abilities or Apple intelligence abilities are going to be available in beta form from this Monday on June 10th after the announcement or the main WWDC 2024 announcement we're going to see. And first of all, let's go over some of those great AI abilities that we're going to see at WWDC. One of the big AI changes is going to do with Siri and it looks like Apple is expected to use large language models to train Siri now so that we will have bigger and better experiences expressions back from Siri so we can talk to it more naturally and the main reason behind this is Apple have signed up with OpenAI's ChatGPT to allow this functions to happen. This open AI deal has just happened. So what I may say with this is that it might not come out on day one as a beta to test out, but we may get it as an option or a sort of a function sort of feature to come out later on during iOS 18's major sort of life coming out. And also that's doing iPad OS 18 and also with Mac OS 15 too. So that is gonna be coming later on down the line. But for features that are gonna definitely be shown at WDC 2024, we've actually had a list here let me go through them for you. So we could be seeing photo retouching, such as removal of unwanted subjects and maybe even moving people around in a photo or picture, video memo transcription, so this is translating your voice into text, suggested replies to emails and messages, so that speaks for itself, AI actually replying to your messages, suggesting what's put in there, also generated custom emojis based on current content of a user's message, so what this means is that maybe an emoji can be worked out based on what you're actually saying in your conversation it can actually custom make an emoji what's cool smart recap of missed notification and messages so or if you've been at work all day and you want to have a recap of all those messages it will speak it out loud improve safari search and faster searches and spotlight using ai abilities auto generated apple music playlist based on the user's input such as the mood so based on the music that you love to listen to the apple music playlist they'll be able to also generate a sort of playlist for you then we're going to also see ai assisted writing in pages so this is basically allowing say for you to actually have an essay being written for you with just some keywords and again the same with a slide creation in keynote very similar to what like the pages one is and then AI code writing and Xcode for developers too and then also improvements for Siri that integrate with large language models such as natural conversation capabilities and improved user personalizations very similar to what a lot of open AI sort of bits and pieces work right now when you have a conversation with it but Siri will be able to do that. There are also a few others to mention too. So for example, with Calendar, we expect that this is gonna be integrated with Reminders. Finally, at last, we're gonna get a calculator built into iPadOS 18. You know, we should have actually had this on day one of iPadOS 18. Back then it was known as iOS 3 point whatever it was when it came out on the very first iPad. And we should have had it then, but it looks like at last it is finally coming. Other bits and pieces to mention is that we're going to get updates to shortcuts to work better with Siri. The health app is also going to work better with AI too. And also the setting apps will also work far better with AI abilities to help you navigate around easier. It also looks like on iOS 18, on iPadOS 18 and macOS 15 that we're also going to be getting a dedicated password app this time round to store all of your passwords. So this will be an enhancement of the keychain app what exists right now, but you'd be able to sort of keep all your master sort of passwords inside of this, unlock it with Touch ID or Face ID. So yeah, it's going to be really good that Apple are bringing this to the sort of Apple ecosystem. Something else that's going to change is the main menu. So this is where you actually pick all your apps from. This is when you first like turn on your phone or unlock your phone, the sort of main screen you're gonna to get to. It looks like at last, after many, 
many years, we'll be able to actually move our apps around this time. We can have them in any kind of way that we want on the home screen or the other pages with that. So this is going to be absolutely fantastic to have this. And it also looks like that control center, this is the ability like, to change your brightness and volume, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, and all those bits and pieces there, that you'll be able to change this as well and customize it and also have multiple pages on this as well. So yeah, this is going to be really great that we finally got this ability in iOS and iPadOS 18. Something else that we already know has been announced for, say, iOS 18, iPadOS 18, and macOS as well, and that is we're going to get lots of new accessibility features. And this was already showcased from Apple earlier on, about a month ago or so. So yeah, this is going to be really, really great to have this actually coming out in iOS and iPad 18, and then also, like I said, in macOS as well. So there's going to be a whole load of new accessibility bits and pieces added there. There's also going to be a new hearing aid mode, and this looks like it's going to be exclusive at the moment to the AirPods Pro 2, what's also going to be announced, and this again will be added to the accessibility, but like I said, you'll probably have to own the second generation AirPods Pro 2 to make this all work. The next thing that I want to talk about is actually what devices are going to be compatible with all of these brand new features that we're going to get from Apple. Well, I'll tell you all about them right after we tell you about the giveaway we're doing on this channel for this. this this is a MacBook Pro M3 and I'm giving this away to one lucky subscriber at the end of June time on this channel. So you've still got time to enter in and all you have to do to enter in is be a subscriber on this channel and also put down in the comments below of what Apple gear or technology gear you're planning to get in 2024. Put it down in the comments right now. And like I said, because it's going to be one lucky subscriber, make sure that you've subscribed to this channel and also hit that notification bell to be entered in. And I will just say this the announcement will be a live stream at the end of June time but I am going to make a little video in how to enter in with a form and things like this too so you won't want to miss out on that a few details about this MacBook Pro the M3 it actually has been upgraded to 16 gigabytes of RAM inside of it it's also got 512 gigabytes of storage the 14 inch model and M3 inside too and the last thing I just want to quickly say guys sadly there are still lots of scammers and spammers out there people still impersonating me too so please do ignore them or better still as you see right here please do report them so then next of all for compatibility it looks like for ipad and also for ios or iphones that all the same iphones that were available with ios 17 are going to be compatible with ios 18 so this is really any sort of device that has an a12 or above inside of it and it's the same for ipads it's got to be an a12 chip or above so it can be an a12x or a a12z anything like that or a12 a13 you get it and above is going to be compatible with ipad os 18 but it does look like that some of the ai features that we've talked about today and we don't know which ones will be only available to work on say iphone 15 models or maybe the 14 models so uh, you get the idea the older your phone will get it means that it might not be compatible with it and talk about which we've also got mac os 2 and this is mac os 15 version and it looks like it could be the same case here that the AI features could be exclusive to say the M1, the M2 and the M3 and the M4 kind of models, well the iPad M4, but you get the idea for Max up to M3 and also the M3 Pro, M3 Max and all the Pro and Maxes and Ultras before that, but if you do have an old Intel sort of MacBook out there, you might be limited on what kind of AI features you're actually going to get on it, if any. So yeah, just a pre-warning on that right now. But January with Mac OS, it's probably going to get very similar sort of features that we're going to see for iPad OS and iOS 18 too. So what those kind of features are available, what we spoke about earlier, they will come along on this operating system. We're also expecting some more benefits with Watch OS, and this is probably going more to do with those health uh, sort of AI abilities that we spoke about already. So yeah, they'll be coming along. And then the same with Apple TV too. We're also expecting one or two new AI abilities to be added there, but to be honest, we haven't had too much information on Apple TV this year round. And it looks like that for Vision OS 2, it's just going to be a bit more of a polish up. We're not going to get big new features built into it. It's going to add the sort of apps and things that were missing on the original Vision OS 1 kind of software. They're going to be added in and kind of some fixes and helps are going to be added in, but not expecting any huge 
big features with that. But the only thing I would say with Vision OS is that we're expecting it to launch in more countries later on in sort of July time, as you can see here from Minchi Quo. The final thing to say is it doesn't look like that any new hardware is going to be announced at WWDC or if it is announced it won't be coming out till later on in the year, it won't come out like a few days later or things like this according to Mark Gurman here. And with that guys this is probably my last WWDC 2024 pre-video I'm going to make. What are your thoughts on WWDC 2024? Are you excited for this event? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And also guys if you have enjoyed watching this video because it's time to wrap it up please do press the like button. Also if you want to hear the latest Apple news reviews and comparisons please also make sure you subscribe to this channel and also hit that notification bell too. Until next time guys I'll see you really soon. Take care. Bye-bye.